Hey! My goodness! Wow, that's really weird. Somebody whispering at me. <laughs> What's the difference between a hill and a pill? A hill is hard to get up, a pill is hard to get down. <laughs> when is a doctor most annoyed? Do you know that? When he's our patient. <laughs> We are actually living in a very unusual time. We have pocket calculators, and pocket cameras, and pocket radio, everything in the pocket but money. <laughs> in this show, we are going to do a couple really outstanding things. They're so outstanding, I have to read the book. It's on page 45, I think. One is called Hoisin Sauce Chicken. Oh, my goodness. It's so nice and just out of this walk, walk space. And the other one is called the beef on a skewer with curry. Why don't you join me to the counter and we'll walk together. <laughs> All right, there you are. The second dish I'll be doing is called a beef on a skewer. I need some of this uh, little bamboo skewer. You can get that, you know, no problem. You can use it to knit your sweater. <laughs> the little sweater. And then you can have a little cow. That's it, small piece. And I got some of this, some of this, you know, done up here already. And we are going to cook this thing up later and then serve it with some curry sauce and you enjoy it. The first dish is called the hoisin sauce chicken. So you need some hoisin sauce which is from the from China made from you know pumpkin and you're gonna enjoy this right in this show. Okay Here's the apron, telling time again. Oh. <laughs> I hope you do walk with me because uh, by walking together, we can have a lot of fun. Okay. Now first, we are going to do this dish called the hoisin sauce chicken. All you need is some chicken and cut it into bite-sized pieces. Okay, now I have this chicken meat, you know, that I have. Oh, my goodness, I just keep going. You need roughly about one pound of chicken. If you have chicken wing, you can substitute chicken wing or chicken feet, whatever you want, or even chicken liver. Okay, and then you use some of this green onion, cut it into one inch length. Oh, that's it. And get some of this onion. Half the onion. And a quarter. Cut it in a quarter. That's it. Use a cleaver. Just heat it up a little bit. They will break up. Then you get some of this uh, garlic and ginger. Ha! Ah. Isn't that effective? Oh. And get some ginger. Ha! Ah. Ah. Ha! That's all. We are ready. Are you ready? I want to cook this thing, you know, very quickly. So that I can go home. <laughs> Before you cook, you have to marinate the chicken a little bit. Using a little bit what we call the Chinese cooking wine. Put a little gourmet powder. Gourmet powder, quarter teaspoonful. To make sure this is a gourmet dish. <laughs> Isn't that good? Put a little bit of salt. We are almost ready. Okay, heat up the wok. Always make sure you heat up the wok before you do anything. A lot of people, they don't follow that. They just don't wait until the wok is hot before they put the oil in. And they don't even wait for the oil to get hot before they put the food in. So they get stuck to the bottom of the wok. 
گوش بودم تو تیمو شدو آه پینا آه بیزی؟ هات دنیگه دو آدو سوی دنیگه آدو سوی جینجر لکه دیس بگ هنگ آف جینجر and then there's some garlic and also green onion oh this is good smells so good lively show even the onion is jumping up and down then you put all those chicken in chicken pieces oh they're good now you have to allow this chicken to cook for one minute like this the whole idea is to allow all those spicy vegetables to attack the chicken so that it can have all the flavor oh there you are you do that now the ginger we always use ginger you know to cook chicken because it helps to bring up bring up the nice flavor and also get rid of the chicken odor. <laughs> Some people call it double protection. <laughs> okay, now you get that. And then you can put up a minute. Then you can put your poison salt. Put it in, just like that. This is couple tablespoons of poison salt. This is the same hoisin sauce that we use to eat the Peking duck. This is the chicken though. Now I'm going to use some chicken and just uh, clean up my little plate. We don't waste nothing. Because this hoisin sauce is really excellent. Okay, there you are. Oh, wow, that's fantastic. Then you put a little bit of salt. A little bit this time. Put a little bit pepper. Not much. Then the rest of them, you just put some of the cauliflower and bamboo shoot. And then if you have, you can put some red pepper. If you like it hot, you can put some chili pepper. Or put two drops of this hot chili sauce. Tobacco. Oh, this is going to be hot. I like it hot. <laughs> the hotter, the better. Oh, yeah, I can handle it. Now, then you put some water. Two tablespoons of Chinese water. And then you cover it with a lid. Let it cook with medium to high heat for about a couple of minutes. That's all the time I have. <laughs> if you have a lot of time, you can cook it for about five minutes. It depends on the size of the chicken that you cut up. All right? But I'd like to give you some cooking tips. While we are waiting for this thing, actually, a lot of people, they go around and do the shopping and they don't know what the heck they are doing. Because they're wasting a lot of money. I want to give you this shopper's tip before you do the cooking, all right? It says, impulse, impulse buying can be dangerous to your own budget. For protection, what you should do is it, always put down all the grocery on the list, all right? Just write down whatever you want and then just follow the list and eat before you go shopping. <laughs> And then also leave the other members of the family at home. Don't bring them along. You bring some kids, they're going to pick up some lollipop. Something like that. And also avoid unnecessary stop at the store. Just walk right in, walk right in, and walk right out. Okay, that is a good tip, isn't it? Okay. Well, I'm sure you know you appreciate it because a lot of people really, you know, wasting a lot of money just by walking around. Okay, while we're waiting, we 
can get a little what we call the star solution to thicken up this uh, chicken by dissolving one tablespoonful of this uh, tapioca star to some water. Okay, depends on how much juice you want. If you want more juice, add more water. <laughs> All in a sudden, you have a couple of your uncles come and visit you, and you run out of chicken. Just keep more water in. <laughs> All right, we are ready. But my monk uncle, you know, they are not visiting me, so I don't want it too thin. I add some uh, more stuff to thicken it up. My chickens are ready. Oh, look at that. Isn't it gorgeous looking? Now all you have to do is just dissolve your starch solution, starch in the solution, put a little bit oyster flavor sauce, and the dark soya sauce, because you want to give a nice color. Okay, right there, one table, and few chops of sesame seed oil. That's it. And then we are almost ready. Just put it down, keep on turning until it comes to a boil. Then we are ready. Thank goodness. Oh, this is something. Now this dish can be prepared ahead of time. And then keep warm in your casserole bowl or something. Now don't go away. I'll be right back. Clorox introduces the easy new way to clean and disinfect. Bacteria on the kitchen counter, messes in the bathroom, all over your house. Introducing Clorox disinfecting and cleaning wipes for garbage cans, diaper pails, telephone. This is my accent. It's sporty, roomy, and easy to carry. Elantra has all the features that make it a great fit for my family, including a lease that leaves me sitting pretty. Sonata has air, power everything, and an engine that really moves. And a lease that's making them disappear. You'll find amazing deals at Hyundai's Eye Opener Sales Event. A canola crop in Canada yields a more bountiful harvest. A patient has a medicine she needs. A boy can survive a childhood disease. A corn crop can protect itself from certain pests. Because discoveries in biotechnology are helping to treat our sick and protect our crops. Biotechnology researchers test and test to find new solutions. Solutions that are improving lives today and could improve our world tomorrow. Sometimes when conditions outside are less than ideal, satellite TV reception might not be as reliable as you would expect. Rain, wind, or even just clouds can sometimes cause a satellite signal to be lost. If your satellite dish isn't aligned just right, then you might not be watching the big game or a favorite movie. In fact, the only thing you might see is this. Cable TV, the reliable choice. Oh, wow, this itching is terrible. Lanocaine's great for itching, all kinds of itching. It quiets itch nerves fast. That Lanocaine really works. Lanocaine cream works fast for all kinds of itching. There you are, we are going to do this fantastic dish called the beef on a skewer with curry sauce. All you need is just a piece of this tender cow. I'm using this uh, frying sticks. You can use a beef tender one if you want. Now all you have to do, just look at this now, cut it across the grain. The grain, they go this way, so you cut it across. First you put a, your cleaver there about half an inch to the edge and then cut it three quarters of the way down like this and then the next one half an inch again then you cut it all the way down keep going now make several pieces like that okay now isn't that fun now, all right after you have done so then you put it there now look at this is the opening now this is the one that i just cut then you use Use a 
You are clever. Just hit it. <laughs> this is to tenderize. I think. Tenderize of beef. Oh, don't hit it too hard. You might have a minced pork, a minced beef. <laughs> yeah. Now, isn't that fun? I just love this. Remind me when I was a little boy getting kind of a hit by the teacher. <laughs> now, then you get a skewer. And then bamboo skewer, and let us go right up, right up. All the way. Make it just like a Chinese popsicle. <laughs> hey, you can just chew on that. <laughs> oh, yum, 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 yum. Oh, it's far out, is it? <laughs> now, get some more. Oh, yes, I think. <laughs> now you get that. Then you get a whole bunch of this. Really, all you need just roughly about one pound of beef. You can do up all those. Now, after you have done it up, then you should put some of this gourmet powder right on top of this beef first. Oh, yes. Now, put a little bit, a little bit of this. Then you are almost ready. Then you heat up your oil. Heat up your oil. Heat up your oil. Look at that. The oil is being heated up. Believe it or not. All right. Now, then you put a little bit of fine spice powder. A little bit of fine spice powder. You need it. Chinese people call them mm hong fun. <laughs> Five different kinds of uh, spices. Oh, this is good. If you have time to marinate this ahead of time, that would taste even better. Okay, then I'll put a little bit light soya sauce. Oh, yeah, just like that. That's it. That's all the thing you need. Then you, can, you are going to coat this a little bit with what we call the tapioca starch, white stuff. Just a little bit. Okay, now, oh, I love that. Then it tastes good. The whole idea is to keep all those spices on top of this uh, beef, on the surface, that's what I mean. All right, then you go and then deep fry this, put in the hot oil. It's very easy to do. Even I can do it. Oh, Ooh. really interesting indeed. Now, there you are. Mm. Then you deep fry this for roughly about one minute until they all change color. And then that's all ready. Not quite. Now, some of these are really nice looking. Oh, depends on how thick do you cut them, you know? The thicker it is, you know, the longer it will take to cook. Now, some of the thinner ones, you know, they're done. Look at that. Tiny popsicle. Oh, yes. Now, isn't that fun? Oh, yes. Now, look at that. Whew. If you like it, rare. You don't have to cook this. That's it. Now, then you'll get yourself organized. I hope. Make your curry sauce now. You need some uh, oil, isn't it? Oil, oil, oil. Heat up your wok first. And then one tablespoon of your oil. I'm getting myself ready. I hope you are too. Now, then you can get some of this, what we call the, the romaine lettuce. That's all the lettuce I have remaining. <laughs> Then what do we do? Then we put all those uh, stuff, which is the onion and the garlic. Put it in there. And then you put some of this uh, curry powder. One teaspoon roll. Just one tea. Keep on cooking. Keep on cooking. All right. Then you put a little, slightly little bit salt. Okay. And then you get your starch lotion here. 
dissolve some starch in water and always put a little bit of milk and put a little bit more starch just to thicken it up and then you pour this thing right on Ooh. keep on stirring until it comes to a boil then you're ready now the milk has some effect to it you can use coconut milk that's what I use so that it gives you a nice coconut flavor and it works very well with the curry powder. You try it, you'll like it now. Keep on stirring though, because there's some milk, you know, on it. If you don't stir, you might burn your milk. That's not very smart, is it? Now, okay, now we are ready. All you have to do now, just lay your, oh, the beef right there, hanging on this uh, skewer. Oh, isn't that fun and game? There you are. You get that. Oh, smells just terrific. And then you can decorate it with a half, you know, carrot. Put some of the green stuff, you know, around to make sure it looks good. Okay. Now, there you are. And before you eat, all you have to do is just pour this curry sauce right on top of this skewer. And then you can have a good meal. I'll be right back. Did you know that nearly one third of women over 40 have occasional bladder control problems? There's something else that a lot of women like me know about. Poise pads with a special absorbent material inside called Dry Touch. It holds 10 times its weight in fluid, locks it into a gel, and turns it into a dry fluff. Poise takes wetness away and keeps you drier. Helps prevent odor, too. A lot of us share your problem. With Poise, you can share our solution. Angel, the moments that a new day brings Everyone in the world has a song to sing Live every day This simple grain of rice holds an amazing secret. Flavor infusion. A secret only in Uncle Ben's new natural select. No one else infuses the natural flavors of chicken and herbs, garlic and butter, or tomato and basil into every grain of rice. For an aroma and delicious taste that won't stay secret for long. Who else could make something so simple, so amazing? New Uncle Ben's natural select. Think outside the box. your genie please follow these instructions carefully be wary of jealous feelings resulting from overuse i am not jealous master never never give your genie creative license when casting spells and above all don't her off before an important meeting what are you wearing discover the magic of owning your own genie on i dream of genie weeknights on prime canada's entertainment network you called this Clean it up! Sir, no, sir! We used this other sweeper, used it just today. We figured every sweeper was the same. No way! You should have used the Swiffer, boys. It's the better kind of sweeper, the real McCoy. The cloths are new and thicker now. The lift and lock pockets are deeper. Wow! Much more attractive. To get more dust and dirt right out of the company. I call this clean. Swiffer's the one, it's the better way to get it done. Here we are, we have this hoisin chicken, and then look.
terrific, you know, right there. Oh, my gosh, I can hardly wait. Then walk over to the other side, you have this beef on a skewer with onion sauce. The result of this show, I hope you like it. Good. Hi, Simon. How do you like the show so far? I enjoyed it very much. Really? What did you learn? I learned how to uh, cook uh, the dishes popsicle. that you've prepared here. Did you enjoy the popsicle I gave you? Very much. Did and it? I find Chinese cooking absolutely nourishing. It's delicious and Keep going. It's attractive. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. I wish I could say more, but I can't seem to find the words. Oh. I'm very enthusiastic about it, and very I good. wish I could do more of it. Wow. To, I hope that all the folks, you know, will accept your preachers and, uh, and do it. And uh, because Chinese cooking actually is very easy. I only take a few minutes and then we can get it done. Yes. Isn't it? Yes, it's the easiest uh, yeah. cooking that I've known of or really? known about. Do you use a wok to do cooking? Not often, but I purchased one recently and yeah. I hope to be using a lot I of hope it so in the too. future. Good. Very good. Now, before we eat, I would like to read this fortune cookie. My goodness, this one has no paper, this one has. It says, Hoi Guin Guyan, Do Joy Ngan, Bai Mun Ching Yu, But Guan Sum. That's a long word. What it means is this, when you open the book, all the ancient people, the history, they come before your view. It means you can read from the book. But when you close your eyes, or close your door, rain or shine outside, you will not be bothered. In other words, if you don't look outside, find a walk the heck is going on, <laughs> you don't know if it's raining, snowing, or sunny. So open your door, and then, uh, then you know what's going on. Make sense to you? Yes, it does. It's certainly <laughs> a way of reading more. Uh, right. And well, it's very interesting, you know, uh, a lot of people, more and more people are getting to uh, to look Chinese. <laughs> yep. If you keep on eating, you will look fit, you know, you do a lot of exercise. Yeah. Right? So if you, you know, do the Chinese people do, eat regularly, enjoy your meal, and then you have a lot of fun. You folks, also keep on watching, let's have a lot of fun, see you next time. For today's fantastic recipes, please write to me at this address. Prime presents Original Girl Power. When a straight-laced Air Force officer becomes the master to a well-meaning but troublesome genie, life is never quite the same for either of them. Barbara Eden stars in I Dream of Genie, next here on Prime, Canada's Entertainment Network. You're watching Prime. Canada's Entertainment Network. Jeannie? Jeannie, uh, would you come out, please? I'd like my breakfast.